Hi everyone, it's me Jen once again and today I have my October favorites for you guys. I know last month I did a little bit late but you guys did mention that you like to watch these favorite videos so I am going to try my hardest to continue to do them every single month. So this month is going to be just a lot of products that I absolutely been loving and I just want to share it with you guys. I feel like when it's fall and winter, all the products that I love I am more excited to talk about. I don't know if it's me just thinking that now because it is fall, but I probably say the same thing in the spring and summertime as well. But anyways, let's start out with some hair products. So the first one is this triple sec by Dry Bar, and this is a three-in-one spray. It texturizes, amplifies, as well as refreshes the hair. I have been absolutely loving this so, so much. You guys know how obsessed I am with different dry shampoos as well as texturizing sprays, but I've been really, really loving this because it is so awesome. Um, what I like about it is that I can use it on clean hair, and it really adds like this dryness that is kind of like whimsical to the hair, and it keeps the hair from getting oily throughout the day. Now what it does is that it texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes your hair. You guys know how obsessed I am with just basically any type of dry shampoos, any texturizing shampoos, and you guys know I love my volume. So I have gone through so many loves throughout the time with just different type of dry shampoos. But this, you guys, is the best one I have ever tried. And the reason being is that I like to use it even on my really clean hair, just because, you know, when your hair gets kind of comfortable and it's kind of sh in its shape, throughout the day it gets kind of flat and just stick together. But with this one, it really lifts it. It kind of keeps it from sticking together and has like it kind of blows this whimsical air in between the strands of your hair and just keeps it staying that way. It's really hard to describe, but it really makes the hair feel like it's more volumized and it just kind of flows and bounces a little bit better. I also like it for when my hair is a little bit on the dirtier side and I need to just refresh the hair, it really does the job. The only thing I need to tell you guys about this product is that you need to really, really, really shake it up so the formula really just kind of mixes in the bottle. And then when you spray it onto the hair, what I recommend is to lift the hair in each section and when you spray it, to spray it really far away as well as just, pss, that's it. You don't really have to go all over the hair. Um, I really love it and I love the smell. At first it was a little strong for me. It felt like it was a little too vanilla, butterscotch, in the wilderness type of smell. But after a while I got used to it. I have been absolutely loving it. I love the smell now and it actually lasts a long time. I can spray this on the day that I wash my hair and then it would last in my hair and feels nice in the hair for like two, three days. So I've been loving this and definitely as you can see, I've been going on and on about it. All right, so the next product is a hand cream. So since now it's getting a little drier, and because of the Ebola scare in Dallas, I've been washing my hands a lot more at work. And so um, I've been wanting to use like a type of hand cream that's gonna help with my with moisturizing my hands. So I've been really liking this um, Caudalie or Caudalie hand and nail cream. It smells like oranges and just really smells citrusy and fresh. But what I really love about it is that it applies really silky on the hands and it doesn't leave any type of oily residue. But after you wash your hands, you can still feel that silkiness in the hands. So it really does absorb into the skin. All right, so the next product I wanna share with you guys that I've been loving and I share with you in my last haul video, it's the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. This is in the color Fawn. It was hard for me to find my perfect shade when they only had three colors, but now that they have a lot more variety of colors, I found the perfect match and I absolutely love this foundation. Um, I did use it two different ways where I actually sprayed it directly on the face as well as just having it on the back of my hand and using a brush with it, but I noticed that this looks the best when you just spray it onto the face. It definitely gives you that airbrush look and it gives you that flawless, beautiful look. I think nothing can really replace this in my opinion and I really, really love it. I have tried it with flash photography. I see a little bit of a hint of whiteness to it, but it doesn't really bother me and I am really picky with flash photography foundation. So, so far I've been loving it. 
All right, the next thing that I want to share with you is something I've been obsessed over for years now, but I've just been really reaching for it, and it's the MAC Fix Plus Spray. Now, a lot of you guys probably think, this is just water, why do she like it? But it's something about the formulation of this water that it's just amazing. I can literally put any type of foundation on my face, especially with the powder uh, foundations. Some of my favorite fa powder foundations are um, the Laura Mercier one. I'm in the color 05. This is a really great um, powder foundation. And then I also like the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. It comes in a packaging like this. And then the last one is the Studio Fix. Now the Studio Fix is going to give you the most coverage out of a powder foundation. And what I really love to do is either put this on the face first and then just spraying this on top. It really makes the skin look amazing. It makes the skin look like it's not powdered. It makes the skin just look like skin. It really just blends in the blush, the bronzer, the highlighter all together and just makes the skin look a little bit more photoshopped, a little more blurred. And what I also like is to wet my brush with the Fix Plus and then go in to my powder foundations and then that's going to give me a little bit more coverage if I needed it. And I've been really loving it. I absolutely love this skin refresher in a bottle. It's like a magic potion. All right, so the next items that I wanna talk about are some lip products. Now you guys know I love lip products. Um, on an everyday basis, I don't wear like these vampy lip colors or anything like that. So I've been really liking the Dior um, Lip Glow. This is just like a lip balm that has natural tint, meaning it looks like this, it looks clear, but on the lips, depending on the pH of your lips, it kind of changes to a really beautiful rosy color. I really like that just because sometimes I wear a, a turtleneck sweater or something that I don't want my lipstick to stain. And because this has no color, even though it gives you color on the lips, it's a great product to wear whenever you have those scarves and everything going on for the fall time. Speaking of like a natural everyday lip, I've been really loving this um, Pericone MD No Lipstick Lipstick. This is a really great color. I feel like it's like natural, like your lips but better type of lipstick. But it does have color so it does transfer so it's not one of those great ones where you can wear with like you know, your white shirts, but overall I really like the formula and I love the color. I really like those natural color lips. Now moving on to some more fall appropriate type of lip colors. This is the color that I'm wearing right now. This is from the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream line. Now you guys already know I did a red one. I did the Simply Red collection review and I'm going to be doing the vamp as well as the pink and nudes all combined together. And I've been really trying it to really you know, kind of test it out and see what I can say about it and review it for you guys. But so far, I'm loving the uh, the number five from the Vamp Collection, which is in the color Covet. Now, this is the color I'm wearing. It's a really gorgeous purplish with a hint of red. But what I really like that I was really surprised about is that this actually has a hint of shimmer to it, like a hint of reddish um, burgundy type of shimmer to it. And it applies on the lips so beautifully, it gives your lips a little bit of more dimension, makes it a little bit more wearable for those who want to wear a vampy lip but are afraid of that flat matte look. I really like it actually. I tend to not like shimmery lipsticks, but I love that one. Now the other one that I've been loving, and I think I've been loving for years now, is the Tom Ford Crimson Noir number 11. It, this is the most perfect red color for the winter and fall time. I absolutely love this color, not only wearing it just full on, but I also love this one as a stain where I can just tap, tap, tap onto the lips and either just put it on for a little bit. By the time I'm finished with my makeup, I can just wipe it off and it leaves this beautiful, like cherry eating type of stain on the lips. And I absolutely love that. All right, so the next product, that is also a part of the lips type of um, products I've been loving is this, which is the MAC Chromographic Pencil. And this is in NW25 NC30. And I've been really loving this just because I've been wearing a lot of these bold colors. And I find that yes, a lip liner is gonna help with just creating that perfect crisp line. But I also like this because it's that my, my skin tone color type of pencil. And I can just literally 
clean up the edges and just make the lips stand out a little bit better just because this is like the color of your skin. I really like it. It helps perfect a perfect lip and if you struggle with just staying in the line and just making that perfect lip stand out then definitely check this out because it really helps it's like that reverse lip liner all right and the last product i want to share with you guys is something i actually just bought but i've been loving it and i've been loving some of the products that are from this line so i can actually say it's my favorites for this month and it's the hourglass palette um, blush palette this is so gorgeous, look at this. Um, I did a review on all of the colors from this line and you guys, I didn't keep all of them just because I felt like, you know, I cannot just have that many blushes. But when I saw that the, my favorite ones, which is um, Mood Explosure, Luminous Flush, as well as Incandescent Electra were all in one palette, I was super excited. My favorite at the moment is Mood Exposure. It's like this really great mauve color. It really just adds a little bit of color to your face and it goes really well with these types of lip colors from the fall time. So definitely check this out. This is available at Sephora. Um, I really love the packaging. It's this really gorgeous kind of goldish rosy tone and I love the product. It's those beautiful luminous ambient light type of powders that are actually marbled into the beautiful blush that they have so definitely check that out if you guys are interested I definitely think they are a must and you can splurge on it definitely especially for the holidays it's a great gift I hope you guys enjoy my favorites for this month I hope it wasn't a little too all over the place like it I always am and don't forget to comment below and let me know what are your favorites so that I can actually go and check them out all right you guys I'll see you in my next video bye